Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. So today we get to take a look at the latest generation for the Ram 3500 Limited Mega Cab. Huge shout out to Carolina Auto Direct for providing this massive truck for me today. Check out their website because they have a huge selection of pretty much brand new inventory. That link is down in the description. So the Mega Cab that you see behind me is finished off in billet silver and we'll go over the MSRP once we go over all the specs and features and get this truck out on the road. So let's start off with what powers this Mega Cab. This has the optional 6.7 liter inline six cylinder high output turbo diesel paired to the eight speed automatic transmission. This pumps out 420 horsepower, 1,075 pound-feet of torque. That power sent to the rear wheels. However, this does have the four-wheel drive system, or being the dually, the six-wheel drive system. It weighs in right around 6,800 pounds. It'll do zero to 60 in just under eight seconds with a top speed of 94 miles an hour. And you can get up to a 50-gallon fuel tank and average right around 12 and a half miles per gallon combined between the city and highway. Now this also has a wheelbase of 149 and a half inches. Its overall length is 237.4. It has a width of 79.4 and a height of 78.4 inches. And as we work our way to the exterior styling now for this mega cab, this also has the Nightfall Edition package. So it provides it with a lot of gloss black accents and emblems. I do think Ram should be blacked out with that package as well but it almost has a body colored design to it being silver. There's also a forward facing camera, which gives you that added visibility, especially for this size. Really nice design for the grill with plenty of cutouts running throughout it. Now this also has LED headlights, DRLs and turn signals. And as you can tell, this particular model has a lot of added accessories like the full body colored to match steel front bumper with fog lights on both sides, massive winch, in case you need to use that and then the gloss black bull bar just above it so of course that is an add-on but it looks very nice being finished off in the body color design great lines coming down the hood too it's just a massive truck so it has a great presence to it as we work our way to the side this has an aftermarket set of wheels and tires they give it a really aggressive look and this has a set of the uh, the bds suspension there with the fox shocks you can see the Cummins turbo diesel badge along with an American flag emblem. Ram is also blacked out as well as the 3500 heavy duty. This has a massive roof rack with all of the added lighting to give you, if you're using this as a work truck, you have plenty of lights if you are using this at nighttime. This has the massive tow mirrors with the camera system. There's also spotlights on them and turn signals. And as you can tell, they are in the tow mode right now. All I need to do is push them down and now you have more of the traditional style. So if you do need to tow, you can quickly flip these up and then you get a little bit better visibility with a trailer behind this. And taking a step back, you can see with the mega cab, you have that additional space behind that rear door. Great lines running down the side too. And then this also has the power folding side steps, which makes it much, much easier to enter and exit. Now, as we work our way to the side of the bed, being the dually, of course, this is a massive fender flare there. You can see just how much that pokes out. I'll talk about that more once we get this out on the road and visibility and what you can see from the driver's seat. And then last up, this does have a set of LED taillights. You'll see the Ram logo right in the middle along with a backup camera. All the badges are blacked out like I mentioned earlier. This does have a body colored rear bumper which is nice to see along with all the parking sensors. The exhaust exits over on that passenger side and this can even tow up to 35,000 pounds with a payload capacity of 6,000 pounds. This is a very capable work truck. It, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter what you are towing behind this truck. You have plenty of capabilities for anything that you need to haul. Now this also has remote start. So if I lock it and double tap this button on the lower section, this will come to life which is a great feature to have, especially for the turbo diesel. You can have this warmed up and ready to go. I can also double tap the button to the left of that. I think it has to be unlocked in order to do that. And you can see the soft opening tailgate come down where this has a massive bed, spray and bed liner to give it all that protection. Plenty of tie down hooks. There's also some accessories over on that driver's side with the three prong outlet and then the mount for that fifth wheel and cargo lights too. So you have a very capable bed space and a very lightweight tailgate. So that is easy to close up with one hand. 
And then as we work our way to the back seats, you'll see that power side step fold down. And then for the door panel, very nice materials. You can see the leather, the wood trim, brushed aluminum for the release handle, split design for that storage space, and then one of the massive speakers there. And more of that leather works its way to these back seats where you can see all the stitching, the perforations, and then some of the logos there or embroidery just behind that driver's seat. Now with the side step and the grab handle at five foot 10, it makes it so much easier to jump up into this truck where I have a lot of space for my feet. There's storage pockets behind both front seats. These are even heated as well. There's a three prong outlet, all of your auxiliaries where you can charge electronics and a little bit more storage. And then right in the middle, this does have the armrest as well as two cup holders there if you need to use those. And as far as visibility goes, you really don't have any blind spots even for the size of this truck. Now, like I said, this is the Mega Cab. I have around three or four inches above my head. It actually dips up. Hopefully you can see that on camera. So I'm pretty comfortable. It's a full size truck, even bigger than a full size truck. It's a Mega Cab. So you can uh, have full size adults in the back and you even have adjustments here. Let me hop back up because I believe they recline. They should recline being the Mega Cab. And yeah, this is pretty cool to be able to sit in a mega cab, sit in a pickup truck really, and be this comfortable like you're in an SUV. And then if I pull this tab by the headrest, I can actually fold this seat flat. So you can see on both sides with them each flat, that gives you a little bit more uh, surface area if you need to use that. And then up underneath, the back of the seats there, you have even more storage space. And then the last configuration that you can do, if I pull this on the very bottom, you can actually fold this seat and it'll be flush with that rear area. So you can have a perfectly flat surface for some larger items and better interior storage. Very cool to see all of those configurations. Now the front door panels are just like the rear. However, this has the memory seating adjustments, all of the window controls, side mirror adjustments. They are power folding too, so you can bring them in. You can adjust the spotlights and it has the rest of that storage in the lower section. And then the seating design is the same, all of the piping and stitching. Very beautiful for this luxury style truck. Now all four corners do have a grab handle, which is of course nice, especially for the size. And for the steering wheel, you'll see a combination of solid leather and the wood trim, both in the upper and lower section, along with more of the stitching. Now on this right side, these are all the cruise and adaptive cruise control settings. You have the gear limits. You can also change the gears. So if you are towing, that is very helpful, of course. On this left side, there's Bluetooth and voice commands, and all of these are for the gauge cluster. So let's fire this mega cab back up to go over all of that information. That start button is over on the right side. We can fire this up. And looking at this gauge cluster, on the left side is the tack as well as the engine temperature. On the right side is the miles per hour and the fuel level. And right in the middle is a massive LCD screen where you can look at a ton of information. So currently you can see average MPG on the left side, your range until empty on the right side, with your gear selector and odometer in the lower section. And right now we are looking at the miles per hour. If I scroll down, you can go through vehicle information and there are a lot more vitals that you can go through. Just depending on what you'd like to see, you can easily monitor all of this. You can look at your summary there, your engine hours, even at TPMS. And if I scroll down to the next tab, you can look at the off-road settings. So there's pitch and roll. You can also look at your drivetrain along with the dually screen there, and then the degrees for the steering wheel. There's the driver assistance. You can look at your fuel economy, which is not really too important for a work truck like this. Your trip information, if you wanna look at it. There's your trailer tow tab, so you can monitor all of that information when you have a trailer hooked up, of course. You can look at your audio, even pull up any messages. And then under screen setup, this is how you can actually configure. In the upper left is the outside temperature. It's also currently in the upper right, but you can go through and configure this depending on what you would like to see. So it's very nice. You can look at the upper right there, lower left, which has some more engine vitals and temperatures. So the important information that you would like to set up for yourself, it's very easy to go through. There's some commercial settings that you can enter, and then we're back to the speedometer. So very helpful to have all of that. Now on the back of the steering wheel, over on this right side, there are volume controls. On the left side, there are tuning controls, which is nice to have. 
And then on this left side, you will notice all the headlight adjustments. There's also dimmer switches for the gauge lights, fog light adjustments, more of that wood trim and one speaker. And then you'll see a leather covering the entire dash with one of the Harman Kardon speakers right in the middle. There's also RAM, a little bit of storage with a 12 volt on that right side. And then the massive touchscreen system right in the middle where you have a lot more info to go through. So currently you can see favorites, you can go into your recent. There's also categories here that you can monitor. But if we start at the very bottom, you can go into home where it does have the split screen design to it. So currently navigation is up top and music is at the bottom. You can actually configure that by adding different pages and going through that as needed. We can quickly get into the media and pull that up in full screen. Under a climate or comfort, you can go under the climate adjustments for the heated and ventilated seats, along with the heated steering wheel. If I turn on everything, you can see the temperature adjustments, where you like the air to go as well. Very easy to use this. You can also pull up the navigation in full screen, go through your phone. You can go into vehicle where you have your power side steps, which you can deploy as needed. But let's take a look at the camera angles now. So this has the surround view camera angle, of course, so we have the top down view on that left side. And then currently you can see the backup camera. Now we have the forward facing camera there over on this right side. There's also a few different trailer angles. You even have the side mirror. So if you're taking a turn with a trailer, look at the amount of visibility you have. You really don't even need a spotter, which is nice to have. And then there's some more shortcuts down below, kind of like what we just went over. And then if I go over to the off-road pages and click on off-road, you can actually look at the steering angle, a little bit of what you saw in the gauge cluster with two wheel drive. You can go into some of the accessory gauges and then even monitor the pitch and the roll. So you can bring that up in full screen. There's also some more controls that you just saw and various settings. So you have pretty much everything you need to fully customize this. There's also some other apps that you can go into. I like the vertical design for this screen. It's a really nice layout for what it has to offer. There's also shortcuts up top. You can get into your climates as well as your heated and ventilated seats for both driver and passenger. Now on this left side, there's temperature. There's also where you'd like there to go, fan speed. Right side, you have the uh, passenger controls along with some AC and research controls. Now there's physical buttons for power and volume and tuning on both sides. And then as we work our way to the lower section, you can see the engine or the trailer braking system on this left side a ton of auxiliaries so you can notice that those lights up on the front of the roof there you could probably hook those up to one of these that way you have an easy way to turn them on and off there's also the tow haul mode this has the exhaust brake you have the front and rear parking sensors on this left side are all the four-wheel drive selectors and then in order to put this vehicle into reverse we have the column mounted shifter you will see that backup camera up here as i already went through and then all the way down is to drive and all the way back up is into park there. You'll notice there's some more auxiliaries down below, a little bit of storage, even a wireless charging pad and some more storage. And then right in the middle, there are two cup holders. You can close those up with more of that wood trim. You can even move this and slide it forwards and backwards. So you can see some items down below at the moment, along with a three prong outlet, a little bit more storage space, and you can slide this forwards if you want a little bit more room for the center armrest. You will see a limited covered with more leather there. And there's a little bit of storage in the upper section, actually a good bit with another auxiliary. And if I open this up all of the way, you will see even more storage. There's also a maximum fill line. So that means if you don't go above that, you can actually slide this forwards and backwards. So it's nice that it gives you that guideline. There's also a flip up tray, so you can bring this up if you don't want any items to slide forwards and backwards. And then there is a chart on the back side. You can use this for conversions, whatever you may have while you're out on the job site. And then on the passenger side, there's actually two glove boxes. A Little bit of storage in the upper one if you need to use that. And then the you know, normal glove box is down below. You'll see more leather and wood trim. Very beautiful interior, especially for the money. You're getting a very luxury truck. Now this has a sunroof with the manual adjustment for the sunshade. Right in the middle, we have a lot more controls. You can deploy the tailgate. There's the dome lights on both sides, some call buttons too. This is how you can operate the rear glass to open that and close it, of course. And then we have the sunroof and sunroof uh, tilting adjustments. And then right in the middle, this even has 
the camera system for the rear view mirror. So that gives you additional visibility so that way you don't have to look at your passengers or the headrests that are currently up. You have a lot more visibility out of that back. There's also some garage door buttons up on the driver's side sun visor. As we set off now behind the wheel for this Ram 3500 Mega Cab, these have a starting MSRP right around $78,000. When you think about that, that's a lot of money for a truck, but also look at what you're getting for that money as far as what the purpose of this Mega Cab is for. It's for towing, it's for hooking up whatever items you may have but it's also to have a nice luxury style truck. If you're driving this every single day and you wanna be very comfortable, you want all these creature comforts, I think it's pretty cool to see that, it's not cool to see pickup trucks are getting more expensive, but it's cool to see that they're getting a lot more luxurious in the fact that you can actually daily drive this and use it for the work purposes that you need it for. So if you're putting a lot of seat time behind your truck, and you want all these features, it's a good option to go with. Now, one thing that I do want to talk about is I don't drive full-size trucks all that often, but when you get into this mega cab, these rear fender arches are so wide. Like I mentioned earlier, you saw them from the outside, but from the driving or driver's seat, it's such a different perspective, even with the tow mirrors in the up position. Uh, which I currently have. We're going line to line right now. I like the smaller mirrors on both sides because I can keep an eye on those tires on each side. It's a huge truck, but don't let that deter you. I mean, if you're buying this, you know what you're getting into. You know you have to park far away from the entrance of wherever you're going just because you're not really gonna fit in one spot. But I mean, you're buying this because hopefully you're towing something where you need the capabilities of this truck. So $80,000, you better be using this and not just driving it with an empty uh, load like this, which we are today, of course, because I don't own this truck, I can't tow with it. But I will say, even with that turn there, it seems pretty maneuverable. And with the amount of power that this truck has, for weighing you know, almost 7,000 pounds with it empty right now, we are uh, up to speed. So it's pretty, I mean, it, it's got plenty of power and uh, a torque to get you up and moving. But of course you need that for the weight of whatever you're hauling. But aside from that, aside from why you would be buying it for those capabilities, like I mentioned earlier with all these luxuries, it's, it's very, very nice. It's also super comfortable to drive even with the aftermarket suspension that this truck has to offer. I don't know what size lift it is. It feels like this could be a three, four, five inch lift. I haven't been around a stock mega cab in a while to know the height difference for this truck, but for what it's set up as right now, it's super comfortable. I like how it drives. So let's give it another acceleration. We're up to speed. Pretty impressive for the weight of this truck again. But now you can see what it's like to be behind the wheel from the driver's seat in an $80,000 Ram. I don't think a lot of people ever expected a Ram to cost that much, but over the years, there's been a lot more technology, a lot more accessories, a lot more capabilities, like I've already gone over in today's video. But a view from up here, and I don't think I'll be able to convey how, how wide this really is from this angle, but we can at least go to this cul-de-sac so you can see the turning radius and how maneuverable it is for a truck of this size. I think all the camera systems are very important to have, even the camera system, which a lot more cars are incorporated, uh, incorporating into that rear view mirror, which I think is helpful, but you can see Kind of a, a normal cul-de-sac here and being able to turn the wheel i think that was two and a half times i don't think we're going to have to back up we're just getting to the edge there but it feels like it's a very maneuverable truck for its size so i think that's a obviously a big plus where you're not just able to turn the wheel you know half a turn and you got to make multiple turns you still have to do that but it's it's hard to convey it, it seems like it's very maneuverable even though it's huge. 
So for $80,000, do you think that is too much for this Ram? I think with all the tech and everything that it has to offer, especially its towing, you pretty much, if you wanna be able to tow that, you have to go with this. Of course, there's other manufacturers that you could go with too, but if you want a Ram, you want a mega cab, you can have full-size adults in here. If this is your work truck and you need that practicality for extra people, and you wanna make them comfortable, you could take this on a long drive if you need to. You're going from site to site or picking up whatever it may be. Even your backseat passengers have heated seats. This is a pickup truck and it's luxurious like some SUVs would be. So very impressive to see that. And of course with this one having some extra goodies on it, I think you're getting a pretty cool truck for that money. Let's do one last acceleration for today's video though. Mild on the accelerator. And it feels pretty solid. It doesn't feel like it floats or anything in the steering for its weight there. But that's gonna wrap it up for the latest generation for the Ram 3500 Limited Mega Cab. Huge shout out to Carolina Auto Direct for providing this truck. Check out their website, give this video a huge thumbs up and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our daily uploads. And I will see you all in the next video.